Hey fellas, as well, I definitely wanted to have more substantial video out today, but that I am really getting into some of the scripts I'm writing, hating, and this is why I picked up my marathon, uh, but also uh, ones for uh, the remainder of this month and into August, I mean, has to mean I'm still not really planning on seeing Snake Eyes. The only thing I, as I mentioned before, that would have got me in that's in the theater, as opposed to waiting for it to come on VOD of Paramount Plus, uh, would have been if the movie was exceptionally good. Uh, instead, it's mixedly negative so far. Uh, I can at least commend him them for wanting to do something different, but at the same time, what I'm seeing, even the positive reviews, it's like it, it gets, it gets, tries to be both uh, with a ninja movie as well as to normalize uh, G.I. Joe and does not fully succeed at either. I mean, I mean. I mean, that's which is why I want to I'm working on this for The Rise of Cobra to talk about how the franchise has had a history of 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 this kind of problem on film. Um, apart from like the the one that was a cartoon, in which went DTV, he he in the eighties, which I mean. The Transformers movies may often be hot garbage, but they are hot garbage that I have some affection for, if that makes sense. I mean, it's been, which is why I took the serious analysis route when I finally viewed the first couple, I mean. Oh, but that's not to say it's the only thing I've been doing, I mean, I mean especially when I'm trying to stay safe from Delta as well, so. Oh, yeah. Be that as it may, it does make me glad that I'm that that I actually did qualify for that another free he one week trial of PlayStation now. I mean now I mean on top of me finally clearing the arcade mode on Street Fighter 3 for the first time, I'm I'm definitely planning to go through it more as well as clear some of the other achievements. Galaga Legacy he, which was a 30th anniversary game put out by Namco oh, for that classic. I mean, they also, who oh, apparently now it's a 40th anniversary. He, I mean, heck, not only have you opened the interior of her, her where, of some of them all right near where I live, they actually have a new arcade, which also is set up for social distance gatherings. And, and of course, I waste no time checking out the Galaga Assault Machine. I mean, yeah, definitely a nice little blend of both past classics as well as modern innovation. I mean, and <laughs> there's even like a one of Minecraft dungeons. I didn't try that one. I was mainly just waiting for the bus to come and try to phone. I was getting everyone Space Jam. I mean, it's more likely I'll see that again, and as well as watching HP Max or Hot the spoiler review was oh as. Plans to Black Widow again. I'm. I'll admit the concerns about the piracy and the rather sharp drop can't really be dismissed out of hand, but hopefully, he, he, he people are still interested. I mean, so and, but I'm getting off track here. As I mentioned in the previous video, also I'm trying Jump Force. I definitely made my own avatar as well as working close of the objectives, and. As for the now infamous scene of Yamadoya and Piccolo's conflict, I can often tweet that one compared to the Infinity War when Andrax for Hex and Starlight first meet Spider Man, Doctor Strange, and Iron Man. Like, heck, heck, so, where's Gamora? I'll do you one better. Who's Gamora? No, I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora? And no one ever asks, how is Gamora? Well, I mean. <laughs> Still looking forward to Volume 3 and Thor Love and Thunder. Gonna be nuts. Most likely. Hey. And I'm also working on my next Pokemon. Some Ultra Legends Vlogs. I mean, again. If all goes well, I should have the next one of the Pony Island Trials on my next Pokemon Monday. So I get to work on the one after that. And if you even have a cursory knowledge of it, you know why. Alright. 
but not to be such a downer, I'm actually still trying more Pokemon Unite. I mean, hey, to I mean, even as someone who's like a relative noob to MOBAs, you'll forgive the parlance. And I at least know more than about Pokemon, understand the concept, and adapt to it. I mean, I would have. I would have been happy to apply for that job where you had to have long considerable hours into the games and see if there were some of the anime among other aspects for working on the series. But luckily Corvette the Dude Hire does understand the material and even though I'm skeptical about some of the monetization aspects, as I often am, I'm still planning stacking enough of the currencies to get some of the Unite licenses as well as like the Sir Aaron skin for my main Lucario. I am still enjoying Skyward Sword HD. He, I mean, I, even when it was original release a decade ago, I thought it was an underrated title. I'm working on a bigger video for that, that subject. I think it works a different way than Breath of the Wild does, whereas Breath of the Wild works because of how big and open it can be. He, let me explore for the land of Hyrule at your own home pleasure, as well as taking care of the main quest. Yes, I think Skyward Sword works to capture the simplicity of the original one in a different way, I mean, where this is the chronological first story in the entire canon, and, and, and in many ways, is, I definitely kind of like how it approaches that in the dungeons as well, how that's, I like how they how they modified fees. He is like, I mean, I didn't mind it so much given how it added the world and it was basically giving you advice. It was no different than like Flood, Mario Sunshine, or Navi, or even Toddle. Well, I mean, even if she does still sound kind of like a sim, as well as look kind of like this version, this series version of Cortana. No, I mean. I also want to put your combat spies in the refreshing as well. I mean, you can't just swing so willy nilly. Like, not only when that drain your stamina, uh, you have to often look at your enemies to find out how uh, attack pair they're going. I mean, and also, kind of like how you can throw them off balance and catch them off guard, which kind of like the Guardian Pixel Soul Cloud Games are really any of those. Still working on Pokemon Snap, as well as Resident Evil Village. Those two are among my favorite games of the year so far, for different reasons, and, and also try to build a Team Sonic Race, you know, I'd, I'd to give it another go. Oh, I mean, oh, so, anyway, I think that's about all I've got to say for now. I'll see you tomorrow for my next Bad Batch vlog. Uh, just so you know, I'm not just working on my games and playing. I'm watching One Piece, which is also true. So I'll be out for now. Take care. Mm.